If you have hydrogen ion concentration and you are looking for pH, by using this formula you can get your answer. What if you have your pH and then you are looking for your hydrogen ion concentration? All you have to do is make hydrogen ion concentration the subject of formula and then insert your pH in the formula and you solve. So to do that, firstly, we have a minus sign here. To bring the minus sign here, we can decide to multiply minus by both sides or just remove this minus and put it here. So if you multiply minus by both sides, this is going to have a minus. Minus times minus will be plus. So we will have minus pH is equal to log of hydrogen ion concentration. Now that you have this, to get rid of this log, you have to multiply both sides by anti-log. So anti-log will cancel log. And what you will have left is anti-log of minus pH is equal to the hydrogen ion concentration. So with this formula, let's write it as hydrogen ion concentration is equal to the antilog of minus pH. Antilog of any number is equal to 10 raised to power of that number. So let's say we have antilog x is equal to 10 raised to power x. So using this, we can say hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 10 raised to power minus pH. And this will be the formula we'll be using for any question that asks us to find hydrogen ion concentration from pH. Now let's take some questions. Let's say we have a table of pH and hydrogen ion concentration. Let's say this is 4.19. 3.65 and 14. Remember, our formula is hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 10 raised to power minus pH. So for 4.19, you just say 10 raised to power minus 4.19. Boom. This is 6.45 times 10 raised to power minus 5 or let's say 6.46 approximately 6.46 times 10 raised to power minus 5 then we have 10 raised to power minus 3.65 2.24 times 10 raised to power minus 4 then we have 14 so 10 raised to power minus 14 is straightforward. 1 times 10 raised to power minus 14. So the unit molar. And that's your final answer. It's as simple as that. So practice this question. It will help you a lot. Thanks for watching.